Well, as both men, uh, I will give you the name of my organization, Insami, if Swedish is the problem. Thanks. Uh, I will just give a short welcome to you as well from our organization. The Sami word name of it is Sami Rikasia. Well, uh, who am I then? Well, I'm representing our organization, representing Swedish reindeer hunters. We are a non-political organization, an NGO, uh, and our purpose is to protect and develop the rights of the reindeer hunters in Sweden. And myself then, well, I'm, I'm grown up in Stockholm, not so traditional Sami land, but my grandma is from the traditional land in the northern part of Sweden. I work as a CEO and a lawyer in the organization, and um, there's a lot of, quite a work to do. Well, today we're here to talk about large carnivore and coexistence, but in our world, we need to talk about everything. It's not only large carnivores. We need to make room for us to exist, but not only exist. We need to make room to actually let the reindeer herders have the possibility to develop and grow within their own culture. And that's a quite big challenge. And why are we doing this? Well, Anne has a lot of nice pictures showing. We have a younger generation who wants to continue the livelihood, who wants to continue to be reindeer herders. So therefore, we still struggle with a lot of issues, large carnivores and coexistence, rights, and climate change. Climate change is central for us. And I guess it's quite central for large carnivores as well. Trying to make place to live. Our areas is shrinking, meaning the areas for coexistence shrinking. And it's quite a big challenge to get this together. And I guess, from a Swedish point of view, the Swedish EBA struggles to get this together. The government is struggles. In Sweden, for example, I can, we have the government, the state, put, stated 2014 that 10% is the maximum loss of reindeers to large carnivores. When we have that in mind, and Anna's work in mind, the large carnivores mainly live in the northern area, meaning reindeer herding areas, we have a quite challenge to solve. But we're still here. The reindeer herders still keep on, so of course, we will find solutions to this. That's my goal, and that's my hope. Otherwise, we shouldn't be here, none of us, from the Sami point of view. But we also would like, from the Swedish side, from uh, our organization, to point out that we need, in order to be a part of this process, we need capacity, we need both personal and economic resources to be in these processes. We need to be listened on, and not only to have a process put on us. We need to be in it, to develop it, because otherwise it would never work. And just a few words. In the world, the Mataraka, the world around us, demands us to actually take care of our nature, both large colors the nature itself, but also those who actually live in harmony with nature. And with that words, I will leave you to think about what's your responsible responsibility towards nature. What can you do? Because you always ask us to make efforts to coexist, to, to give up our Rain herding areas, 
But I would like to say, what could you do to help us coexist? Thank you.